Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and this is a video for Chapter 13 of the book Quantitative Social Science Data with R, 2nd Edition. So in this video, we're going to quickly look at um, predictive probabilities for multinomial logit. Uh, we can also do this for multinomial probit. Uh, and here in this video, we'll look just at doing one example of uh, individual, what I call individual predictive probabilities. Uh, how we how we do these in R is the same as we did before with with um, the the ordered outcome and binary outcome models. So I don't want to spend a lot of time, but I do want to look at one thing um, just to just to show you what the output looks like because it's slightly slightly different than what we saw before. Okay, so we're going to use the uh, GG predict function that we've used before. All right, so we're going to use gg predict, and then our model, our save model, so model dot mlogit, and then what we're going to do is look at the predicted probability of identifying with each of the three parties for someone with the strongest Scottish identity, um, who says you can never trust the British government to do what's right for the people and then who is 30 years old, okay? So we're gonna do terms equals Scott and then square bracket seven. That's the category for the strongest uh, identity, comma condition equals, and then C the concatenate function, trust equals one and age equals Thirty. So again, this is we've seen this already, so we don't need to spend that much time on it. All right, let's highlight that and run that. Okay, so we get these output, uh, the output here with the predicted probabilities. It just looks a little weird because it's you know we see this as Scott seven seven seven. Um, these the order of these correspond to the order of the outcome variable, um, which is right. PID, partisan identification. So the first one is conservative, second one is labor, third one is S&P. So if I want to interpret this, we could say for a 30-year-old with the strongest Scottish identity, who says you can never trust the British government, the predicted probability of identifying with conservatives is 0.03 or 3%, labor 0.33 or 33%, and then S&P 0.64 or 64%. Okay. Um, that's it really for this video. I just want to show you how to do it. I talk more in the chapter about, you know, here's some different options. We could do the group probabilities, um, that kind of thing. But again, looking, looking at predictive probabilities like this at individuals, unless it's, you know, unless you're doing something that's like very specific, you want to get like a very specific, um, combination of values. It's, it's not very useful just because you can't, it's not really generalized, right? It's very to a type, right? Um, so in the next video, we're going to look at plotting predictive probabilities, which is, which is again, uh, probably the best way to, to show, show predictive probabilities and also discuss them. All right. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.